The National Economic Council has resolved to set up a National Flood Management Council to be domiciled in the office of the Vice President, which will oversee a roadmap for flood mitigation, adaptation, preparedness and response in Nigeria. The Council's resolution came on a day it endorsed special agro-industrialized, agro-industrial rather, processing zones, SAPZ, in seven participating states in the first phase of a five-year development plan. Kendi Amudu reports. Floods have continued to pose a growing risk to states across Nigeria, primarily because of inadequate flood planning, unwise human settlements in flood-prone areas, and serious disruption of natural processes. The last three rainy seasons in the country have been particularly devastating, which is why the National Economics Council set up a committee to work out a comprehensive roadmap for flood mitigation, adaptation, preparedness and response in Nigeria. For emergency livelihood support to persons at risk of flood disaster during 2023 rainy season. Secondly, to review existing reports and plans relevant to the mitigation and response to flood disasters in Nigeria, as well as the report by the National Economic Council Committee on Flood. Mewa, Kano, Imo, Kaduna, Cross River, Kwara, Oyo, and Ogun states and the Federal Capital Territory are to be designated special agro-industrial processing zones. It is expected that the program will create 3,000 jobs in the participating states from site construction and a collective 500,000 jobs when production and processing start. It will also improve the livelihood of 100,000 farmers in the participating states with the development of agribusiness MSME clusters for primary processing of agricultural products. The program is in a sense like the name connotes it's a special agro processing zone it's a one-stop shop where you will we will site it in peri urban areas not exactly in urban areas and uh, where you will have both production aggregation and processing the council also queued into the health sector renewal program which it hopes to finance by a specially dedicated pool of funds to drive investment in health care value chain. Decentralized facility financing is expected to help the program improve the service readiness of 17,000 primary health care centers and 774 secondary facilities. The aim is to deliver universal primary health care free to all beneficiaries. 17,000 primary health centers to be put on a threshold of viability, 774 secondary uh, facilities, that is hospitals, in addition to some tertiary institutions, just to make sure Medicare is brought close to the majority of Nigerians. At the end of September, the excess crude account stood at well over $473,000 while the stabilization account had a closing balance of 37.597 billion naira. In the same vein, the current value of the natural resource account is 144.683 billion naira. From State House Abuja, Kendi Amudu, Trust TV News.